everyone. Uh, welcome to a beautiful New Zealand day. Uh, just into spring now, so it's starting to warm up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> just out here now with the uh, compressor that I'm uh, doing a little bit of work on. As you would have seen us on my older videos, I got this one quite cheap. Um, and <clears throat> it's uh, looks like it's a pretty good setup. It's got a good diesel motor on it. Um, supposedly 75 CFM, so it'll flow plenty, uh, plenty for the home shop and uh, for vapor blasting. It's on skids at the moment, which is a little bit of an issue. Um, so I'm going to turn it into a trailer. Uh, it was missing the center components of the, the shell, so I'll be redoing that. Need to give it a good tidy up. It's had a water blast, as you would have seen in the previous videos. Um, the fan has been replaced, you can see on there. I don't know how far I went into that on the video, I don't remember. Um, but I managed to adapt a replacement in there. Things like this, gotta repair that so it fits in properly. I'll probably pull it out and re-weld that, put a bit more strength in it. Um, but I just want to quickly uh, do an oil change on it, oil and filter change on the motor side of things. Uh, I've got a new battery to put on it. I just wanted to get it running a little bit nicer before I go ahead and I do the service on the compressor side. Uh, so that's where I'm at now. I had an issue, you'll notice the fuel tank's not on it. I had an issue with a fuel leak, so it's rusted through the tank from where it's been sitting. So I'll pull that, I've pulled it off now, and um, I'll just go through and I'll do the repair on that. Um, put another coat of paint on it, and then I can bring it back in, replace it, and I'll do the service on this. So um, here we go. So uh, a bit of a mess in here. Um, had a few different things on. But uh, I've just been in here, as you would have seen outside, we've been doing a little bit of work on the uh, <clears throat> on the compressor. And I noticed it had a pretty bad diesel leak. So I pulled the tank out and it was covered in these. So that's just a little bit of aluminium that's been cut up. And it looks like an ADOS epoxy glue or something that's been put on there. Um, <clears throat> so pretty ugly. As you can see, I've been sort of chasing around with the TIG, trying to fill in all the holes. It's ugly as. Um, I'm not going to grind them off. I want a little bit of extra material on here uh, just to try and prevent it from wearing through again. But uh, I do have a feeling that I'm probably going to have to cut the bottom of this tank right out and uh, weld a, a replacement bottom in. But we'll see how long it lasts like this. Um, it's not too difficult to get out. So. Um, I'm going to just put a coat of paint on this, we'll go outside and then I've got to finish the service that we're going to do on it, change the oil, the filters, um, and that'll be about it. So after that, I'll probably trailerize it. So I've got some springs to go on the trailer uh, and I've got an old axle to go on, I need a draw bar, I've got pretty much everything I need to trailerize it. I need to get another sheet of the Electro Gal uh, sheet metal, like the box over there. And I'm going to fold up a new a new shell for it to make it look a little bit nicer. But um, at the moment, it's just uh, do a bit of service work on the engine, and um, we'll see uh, how how it turns out. Damaging the radiator. 